Okay, this is a remake of that previous tutorial that I just posted a couple days ago on editing with materials. So thanks kindly for the feedback. So I'll try and keep it simpler in this case. My goal here is to attach all these objects that are still in gray, white, to the rest of the backhoe. Because what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make this backhoe one single object. I don't always do that. Sometimes I keep these as separate objects and parent them to there. Or maybe I just have them all grouped together. But the goal for this is to join them all together as one. So before I join them, what I usually do is I make sure I go to the main object itself. And here's my list of materials that I have over here preset already and the colors associated with them. So here's this black engine top right here is this section here. And if I want to have access to it, when I go into edit mode, then I can hit, click that and press select. And then I have access to that so I can either swap it out with another piece or make a copy or something like that. All right, so I'm going to turn that off. Whoops, I want to make sure it's all turned off. And then I'll leave here and go into I'm back in object mode. And then this piece here, I want to make sure that these are all turned on. So I'll go into edit mode and I'll press A twice and I'll make sure those are all turned on. And the reason being is that that, that way when I join this object to this object, these will still be selected. All right, so I'll leave edit mode on that as well. So before I actually go join it together, I'm going to actually make a new material for this. It's probably the easiest way. There's numerous ways to try it, but the easiest way is to just select it and without being in edit mode. And then come over here to the materials list. And I want to use the main backhoe color for these pistons. So I'm just going to add a new material to the list right here. I'll just press the plus key, get a new material slot like this, and then I'll press new. And then instead of trying to just, you could go in here and pick this color and look at it here and get those values and then come down here and retype of it in. But instead I'll just come up to the list and I'll go find the backhoe there and I'll add it to the list. Now when I do, it turns it into a, to 11. It was 10 just a minute ago. And then when it's like this, then I can click this and it and it becomes its own name it just backs it up as backhoe.001 and if I go up here to the top and look at the backhoe material it's back down to 10 so 10 users of the material all right so now in this case I want to call this something new I want to call this front pistons like that and then now that, now I have a new material now what I'm going to do I'm going to now join everything. The reason I did that first is because if you go into here and if you're in edit mode and do this in edit mode, that and you add a new material like that, that 11 that you saw would have been grayed out and you can't select it. So I do add the materials when I'm in object mode. So now I'm going to grab this and then I'm going to shift select the backhoe and then I'm going to join them together with control J. Alright, and then I'm going to go into edit mode. And since I had previously highlighted all the vertices and the faces within this object. Now that they're joined together, these are still selected and they're the only ones that are selected on the entire model. And so then I'm, then with this material slot selected, then I assign it like that. And once it's assigned, then I can deselect it or reselect it. Or I can go to the feet pad feet pads and I can select those so hopefully that's a little more sensible than the previous video and thanks again and I'll see you in the next lesson